Right, let's go overseas. In just one day, more than 400 migrants have attempted a crossing of the English Channel via small boats into the United Kingdom. A record-breaking 409 people, including young children, were intercepted by British border forces, with UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson noting that the UK has become a target, he says, and a magnet for those who would exploit vulnerable people in this way. Timothy Montgomery is a British political activist, blogger and columnist. He's a good mate of mine. He's best known, too, for, as the co-founder of the Centre for Social Justice. He joins me now from London. Great to have you on the show, Tim. Uh, border, border issues. This is something we know very well here in Australia. If people are safe from persecution, which is the test under the UN Convention, and they're living somewhere in the, United, in the EU... What's the magnet that's drawing them across to Britain? What, what sort of, as the Indonesian president used to say to us, what's the sugar on the table as to why they're attempting the crossing? Um, well, first of all, Peter, it's lovely to be on your show. Thank you for having me again. Um, I think there are a number of reasons why people are crossing the English Channel, which is the busiest shipping channel in the world. So it's not a, a particularly safe way for people to get to the UK, often in rubber dinghies, overcrowded. So very dangerous for these uh, people. But I think it's partly the English language. A lot of these um, migrants and much more comfortable speaking English than a European language. And one of the issues that sort of become quite uh, a big issue in the UK um, um, is the issue of ID cards. And um, on the continent of Europe, most people who want to access welfare or other services have to produce some sort of identification. Uh, the Brit British tradition is we haven't had the need to produce your papers ever. And so people can get to the UK be it have an illegal status, but still access welfare, hospital and other services. I know the uh, the front bench of the Tory party, but also the back bench, very exercised about this. And obviously now you've got Brexit passed, but not yet done. How is this going to play out? What needs to be done? Well, I think actually we need to do what... Um, Australia did a few years ago when Tony Abbott was Prime Minister, who's actually interestingly in the UK at the moment meeting uh, British ministers. We need to make it very clear that if you try and uh, attempt to cross the English Channel, and certainly if you get here, you will be sent back. Um, because that is the only way I think we will ultimately discourage people from crossing the channel to get to, to the UK. Um, mm. um, at the moment, though, there is a lack of cooperation between the British and French authorities. And there is a lot of suspicion, certainly in Britain, that France isn't doing very much to stop these migrants leaving French um, border, French coastline, and make the hazardous journey to the UK. But send them home has got to be the message. Well, here, here, certainly worked here. We haven't had anywhere near the loss of life at sea as we had there for many years under Labor with those changes in Australia.